and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of Akinzu music. Now, I mentioned in my last reaction video for Lux Eterna that I've heard so many Metallica songs growing up, and I've actually seen Metallica live in concert a couple years back, but one thing I have missed on this channel is doing some analysis videos of their official videos. I have not seen a lot of them. I've seen them, heard them in the car rides growing up. You know, I've been very familiar with them, but I've actually not seen a lot of their official music videos, so I'm excited to analyze those a little bit further. I uh, have heard the song before. I wanted to make that disclosure, but a lot of you guys wanted me to analyze these nonetheless. So here we are. I, I cannot wait to discover this and probably pick up on some things that I probably wouldn't have noticed before. And honestly, there are a couple of songs up my sleeve that I even haven't heard of Metallica yet, so I can't wait to do those in this channel's feature. Um, but if you do enjoy my content, please be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss another video ever again. With that being said, let's get started with Metallica's one. to just pause here before we get into the next verse i uh had heard the song before but i honestly feels like i'm listening to a completely different song because i have never heard it with the the videos in the background the the backing you know it, obviously it's supposed to tell a different story now and i assumed you know when i first heard it a lot of the songs back in you know the 80s thrash it was all about like politics government war um and so i i, I just assumed like okay you know this is what the song is about and now that i'm watching it with these visuals i feel like it's hitting a little bit different and i feel like i'm getting a completely different feeling than when i first heard this song altogether it feels like that really uneasy feeling you have in your gut that really uncomfortable feeling where you just feel like whoa okay now you can actually put yourself in whoever they're singing about shoes you know obviously in the song you hear they're singing about a man who is going to war going through it uh, during the war and losing limbs and all of that but you are just like, oh, you know, that is, you know, unfortunate. Nah, that, that fucking sucks. But when you watch this now, you feel what he's feeling and you start feeling that really uncomfortable. You get into this moment of discomfort and then all along Metallica is playing you this wonderful song. And it's it's a weird thing to describe. It's such a weird, weird feeling to feel where you're just like, 
immersed in, into this and now you can become an empath for a second even the most the least in, uh, empathetic person can you know stop and shed all of that and then realize you know there's so much more out there and you kind of like live this person's pain which is such a weird thing to experience but yeah um this is weird this is such a weird thing i've heard that everyone has heard this song and now watching this it feels like i've never even heard it at all which is a wonderful thing but yeah a lot of a lot of feelings are, are starting to you know stir up but i'm gonna go back a bit so we don't uh, mess with that flow i know I, I talk a bit and i'm so sorry about that but i'm just i'm just feeling a lot of things at the moment but let's just continue God, please make them hear me they won't listen they won't hear me It's 
I truly feel like I just heard her this song for the first time. Like, it's such a bizarre feeling. You know, we've all heard Metallica one, but it really fucking feels like I barely heard the song for the first time. And now the song has a completely different meaning. And now whenever I hear it again, it's just going to hit so much more different. Um, They fucking told a story there and they told it so well. And it was so eerie and dark. And it just makes you feel empty you you put yourself in this person's shoes and you feel hopeless uh like you're grasping at air and there's nothing you can do like you're just it's succumb to your own fate and it's such a horrible thing and uh, wow they just they, they I, I i i have no words i really have no words um but let's 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 try to dissect this a little bit further because i'm feeling so much and i i really really just want to talk about it so let's dissect this further what I loved the most about this song is it was the perfect example of how to tell a story using some killer metal music in the background. Those riffs were insane. Obviously, James vocals were top tier, and it is a little bit weird seeing them because I haven't seen any videos of them, so I'm familiar with what they look like now. Um, so it is a little hard. I couldn't, you know, believe they were the same people, but all of that aside, this story hit so fucking hard. Uh, I, I really, truly feel like if you watch this, and you've heard the original song and you've never saw this video you would probably be like what the heck is this i've never heard of this before this is amazing because this felt so much more different you know of course the studio sounds the same but with the addition of the visuals and you know the background i'm assuming it seemed like a, it was like a piece of a movie or something um it, it really just changes it completely and makes you feel so much more and without it i you know i understood the message of course but with it, I really felt like I was in this person's shoes. I felt helpless. I felt like, you know, I was alone in the dark. You know, he lost his vision. He lost his limbs. And he's just, you know, waiting for the release of death. That's how horrible this, you know, uh, feeling is. He succumbed to his own pain and he doesn't even want to accept it. He just wants to die, which is such a sad thing. And it's probably something that was very common back in these days when war was happening. You know, these people... You, you're, you're trapped you probably felt like a hollow shell of a person and what's the point anymore and it it is something that it wasn't really talked about and they told the story so well and uh, it, it told it in a way where even at the end when he was talking about how he didn't even want to live anymore those guitars the solo that iconic one guitar solo and it changes completely because now instead of it sounding like a crazy good solo it sounds like this guy what is going on in his head it sounds like he's screaming in agony it sounds like the agonizing screams of a man who feels so hopeless and helpless and would rather just die than to continue living and that that changed that so much next time i hear that solo it's gonna hit so much more differently it's not just gonna sound like a killer solo i'm really gonna feel like i'm in this person's shoes and i'm just grasping at air and nobody is out there to answer my call um but what an insane insane way to tell a story i feel like truly one of the greatest stories i've ever seen and it was so simple it was so simple you know they created the song they wrote these lyrics it's very dark it's very somber but you know the addition of this just made it seem like it, it, it just hits you it just really hits you in the best and worst way possible um there's nothing else i can say about that but you know video aside i know this video uh, is more of an analysis review type video because i'd never seen the video before uh i, I feel like i, I can talk everyone's ear off and how the original sound the studio sound sounds fantastic of course we all know the vocals were on point you know he has that signature yeah that he always likes to you know his signature yell the james hetfield yell and then of course the guitars and the drums are always just so perfect but you know with all of that aside i really just wanted to dive, dive deep into this video because i am such a 
deeply analytical person. I know y'all tell me to shut up constantly, but I love talking and I love feeling through music. And this really made me feel so many things. And I'm so glad I finally watched this and I'm so glad I got to experience it with you all. Um, I know it is an older video, so, you know, please forgive me if some of these things are wrong, but this is just on my initial list and all of the things I felt. And I honestly just want to watch it again because I feel like the first time I watched it, uh, I, I just felt like kind of weirdly in a weird shock because I wasn't expecting to feel this way. And now I want to watch it again to see some things and some details that I might have missed. Um, but let me know what you felt when you first watched this. Uh, as I know, this is, I feel like this should be something that we're taught in school. They should just make us watch Metallica one so we can all just learn to be a little bit more empathetic and understand what other people are going through. Um, but wonderful, wonderful choice. Thank you again for showing me this. And telling me that even though I've already heard it, that I should watch the video. And I, I really feel like now I'm in a whole new world uh, when it comes to these officials. And I can't wait to dive in with you guys. Um, but if you enjoyed my video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss another video ever again. With that being said, I also live stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I love to get to know you. I have you on there. And we do play games and do some live reactions. But other than that, I'll see you tomorrow with some more music. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.